Shalom, Bishop the Baptist Church. Amen. Let us stand. Amen. And join with our Lord again this afternoon. Amen. Amen.
46 song. You can read with me if you like. God is my refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, see not. There is a river, the stream whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High God. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her in that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Praise God.
validated, amen, peacemakers, and all the first responders, amen. Let's let's pray for them. They won't be praying. Well, let's pray for Ukraine and and, and uh, for uh, Israel, amen. And on the battlefield, there, you know, because we got a battlefield right here. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Ourselves, yeah. amen. Yeah. And our street corner and everything. So let's let's pray for the lost souls and, and all the sick and the shit and uh, all the bereaved. Remember me and your friends as well, amen. And the Mount Eden Church family, amen, amen. Oh, you, gotcha. uh, you call on one of your faithful ministers, amen, to yeah. take us to the throne, amen. Oh, yeah. uh, amen. Yeah. Uh, don't know y'all by name, but ask one of your faithful mentor ministers to take us to the throne. Amen. Father, we thank you for another day. Father, we yes. thank you for the safe ride right over thank here. Thank you, yes, you brought us safely in. We come to praise you and we come to glorify you today. There's no sad story today, Lord. We're just going to glorify you and receive some joy today, Lord. Even in this cloudy day, Lord, you have sunshine for us, oh God. Bless us mightily, oh God. Remember the young people, as the minister has said, Lord. Every young person, everywhere, Lord Jesus. Not only in the church, but even outside, Lord. Just keep them, cover them, Lord. Don't protect them and keep them from those things that would harm them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We come against suicide, Lord Jesus. Among a lot of young people today, Lord. My God, they want to take their lives at a young age, oh God. But oh, the devil is a liar, Lord. We should have long life, oh God. We should have a powerful, good life, Lord. And Lord, we're looking for that today. Look up the young people, oh Lord. That are going through so much pressure, Lord. Even in these schools, oh God. Hallelujah. Well, there's too much pressure, Lord. And then watch them in the homes and even in the neighborhoods. In the name of Jesus. We thank you. We come against, oh Lord, all the powers of war that's going on around the world, Lord. Even Israel, oh God, that's in bad trouble, Lord. People are dying every day, Lord. My God, they're just getting all kinds of trouble, Lord. But we pray, Lord Jesus. Because prayer changes things, Lord. Because prayer, oh God, is all that you gave us to move things, Lord, and to just think, make things happen, Lord. Hallelujah. And so we look to you today, Lord Jesus, even in this service, Lord. Bless the service in a mighty way. Now, my pastor, as he goes forth to speak, Lord, and teach, oh God, those things that are heavenly, Lord. Those things that are godly. Those things that are powerful. Hallelujah. Those things that are life-changing, Lord. We ask you to bless them that way, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember those that are listening, oh Lord, even through cell phones or whatever they're listening to today, Lord. Look on them in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Remember this young man, the only one that we see here today, Lord. Remember him, Lord. Bless him, oh God. Encourage him, Lord. Lift him up, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Give him a mind to go forward, Lord. I thank you for him today, Lord. My Savior, sometimes there's no one around, but we have to stand up and be what you'll have us to be, Lord. So we thank you, Lord. Bless everyone that hears the word today. Everyone that's in this service. But we ask it all in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
Come to church, but they don't want to work anymore. Amen. Amen. Have have great talent, you have great ability, but want to hold on to it and almost need people to beg them to do anything. But but what we need to realize is is that what we have and the gifts that we have, they all came from God. And we're going to have to give an account for our stewardship and the things that God has called us to do. Yes, I want to read verse 14. It said, The kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And said unto and, and unto one he gave five talents, unto another two, and another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank God for you standing in reverence to God's word. I want to use for a thought, use what you got. Use what you got. Brothers and sisters, we we, we find that jealousy and envy is one of those things that is prevalent now because we look over the fence and we see what somebody else has. And we get envious and jealous over those things. But when we look within and we understand God has gifted every one of us in different ways. Yeah. And if we would if we would take the time to recognize and realize the gifts that God has given us and, and perfect them and hone in on them, 
then we will then we will bring glory to God. Yeah. 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 Amen. But jealousy will never bring the glory of God. It will only bring strife. It will only bring it will bring division. It will bring it will cause people to kill each other. Y'all remember when 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 the two brothers were were up in there and they were working and they brought God a gift. One of them brought a gift that God received and the other one didn't, didn't get the, the, uh, the reception that he thought he should got, uh, have gotten and he got jealous enough that he would murder his own brother. Yeah. And God said, if you would just consider what you're doing, I would even receive your gift. Yeah. But, but, in order, but instead of him working on his gift, he got mad and killed his brother before the oh, gift no. of, of what he did. Oh, yeah. And what we need to understand that there's a lot of people right now today, even in the church, who are killing people with our mouth because, because we're jealous of the things that God has given them and not, not understanding that you're gifted in your own way and God will use that gift that yeah. he has given you yeah. if you would just use what you got. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we, we have to realize, we have to understand that God knows us from the inside out. Yeah. And he knows exactly what we can handle and what we can't handle. Amen. And so the Bible said that Jesus was teaching at this time. And he had first talked about how these ten virgins had went out to meet the bridegroom. And, and how, how five of them were wise and five of them were foolish. And, and the five wives took their lamp and took some oil with them because they made preparation. They knew that maybe something would happen down the line. And just in case that he didn't show up like he thought he should show up, they would still be prepared. Yeah. The five foolish decided that, well, I got enough in my vessel and that should be plenty. And, the, and Jesus in his teaching said that the bridegroom tarried. He didn't show up like they thought he should show up. And so everybody went to sleep. And, the, and while they were sleeping, there was a cry that came out. And Jesus was teaching and said, when the, when the cry came out, they all got up and trimmed their legs. Yeah. The five wives, they're brightened up. But the five foolish, they went out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to tell you, don't, don't get caught with your work undone. Don't get caught without the oil that you need. While we're still having the time that we can go to our prayer closet, we can get in the face of God and ask God to fill us up and he will give us the oil that we need. I don't know my child, but I ain't waiting on somebody else. I want my own oil. I ain't got nothing to be with anybody. I don't want to have to go back at the house and ask somebody for some oil. While I can get it for myself, I want the oil for myself. Is there anybody in the house that want God to fill you up and give you some extra so tell you these days? You don't show up when I think you ought to show up. I have enough that I can trim my leg. And he said that when the bridegroom came in, those that were ready went in, and the door was shut. And I want to tell you, uh, Mount Hebrew, Shiloh, and friends, that, that there's going to come a day when the door is going to be shut. And you're going to be wanting to get in, and you're not going to be able to get in because play in church. It's over. We need to make sure that we get our lamp full and we have some carried with us. I just come to give a cry today and to send out a mandate that, that God has said the oil is still flowing and you don't have to wait to get somebody else's oil. All you got to do is come empty and broken and he will fill you up. He will have the broken heart. And anybody in here that you ever gone through some broken time where he had to mend you but when he mended you, he poured in. But I, can't, I need to tell you, he can't pour it into something that's broken because it'll spill out because God is not wasting the oil. The Bible said that those that were ready went in. And those that when they went and got the oil, they came back, they came knocking at the door. And Jesus said that, that the man at the door said, you can't get in because the door is shut. And the celebration is going on. And when you had the time, you could have you could have already been ready, but but it was a cry to let everybody know that there's coming a time and we don't know the day nor the hour. It can be it can be early in the morning, it can be late at night, it can be first thing in the morning, but you need to make sure that you got some all that go there and you got some extra all just in case. He tearing a little while. I know, I know you've been hearing it all your life that he's coming back 
that they told you that when you was a little boy and a little girl, but he's sooner and closer than he's ever been. He said you'll see wars and rumors of war. You'll see earthquakes and divers places. He said you'll see famine going on. And you can see all that in the land right now. But he said you ought to know that your redemption is not. Even at the door. And I don't care if we young, I don't care if we old. Matter of fact, we just laid the rest of 26 year old on Monday. So it don't make no difference if you're young or old. You better make sure that you got all in your vessel. It ain't time for us to be talking about how long we've been on the church roll. We better make sure that the church is on the inside of us and that Jesus is alive and well and alive. Then he, then he moves on from from the from the, uh, the ten virgins and he tells another story. He said the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling through a country, calling his own servants. Do you not know that we are servants of the Most High? He paid the price so he could be our Lord and our Savior. And this is what he done, is that after he called them together, he gave them his stuff. There's too many people walking around and, and, and looking down on folks because they got something that they think somebody else don't have. But I need to tell everybody it's a gift from God. And so many times we get caught up and we look at now I know that somebody on a gift that we got. And the Bible said that in the teaching he said he gave one time. Because God is sovereign. He don't have, he don't have to explain why we do what he do. And because he's sovereign he said I choose you to give you five. Then he said he saw another and he gave him two. And he gave the other one one. Let me help y'all though. Everybody had something. See the problem that we have is that we try to count what's on somebody else or in somebody else's head. And God gave you what you got and you ought to use what you got to bring complaining about what somebody else have and not understanding we ought to take what God has given us and do what, what he tells us to do with what he gives. I can't preach like T.D. Jakes but I'm going to take the little gift that he gave me and I'm going to tell a dying world that because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all three more and life is worth living and you can be saved today. I'm learning how to lead. I'm learning how to depend on Jesus. I ain't in competition with nobody. I learned how to stay in my lane. I learned how to take what God has given me and try to work it for the glory of God because one day I'm going to have to stand before God and I'm going to have to give an account. And I can't go blaming it. I can't go blaming somebody else for why I didn't do what he gave me to do. And after he gave the gifts, he didn't give the instructions. Because they were they were supposed to know what to do. Yeah. See, God said, I ain't gonna have you ignorant. I ain't gonna leave you without knowing. But this master gave the gift and expected them to know what to do with it. Brothers and sisters, what I'm trying to tell you is, is that God ain't going to give you the full picture of it. All you got to do is just start working with what you got, and he'll show you how to get more. Yeah. 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 
But see, he ain't gonna give you no more because if you lazy and won't do what you're supposed to do with what you already have, why are you expecting something else? Lord, when I when I get a church membership of a hundred members, then I'm really gonna do something. He said, but I gave you 40, and you ought to do something with the 40 I gave you. Because increase will come when you work what he's already given you. A lot of times, a lot of times we scared to even put our money where it needs to be because we'll put it in a savings account where it only, where it only collect two cents a, 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 a month instead of putting it in CDs where it will grow, it will grow, it will grow. And God can't say, I can't even trust you with the money. How can I trust you with any other gift? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Tell it like it is. Yeah. <laughs> you ought to tell your neighbor, we got to pass this test. He gave him these abilities. The Bible said several to their ability. He gave, he knew what they could handle. Oh God. Well, that's what I love about God. He knows what we can handle. I think the songwriter said he knows. Yes, he knows just how much I can bear. And he's gonna put them all on me. Lord have mercy. So he know, he know if I go crazy if I had a hundred thousand. So that's why he give it ten thousand and say, go ahead and work with that. And when I see you can handle that, I'll add some more to you. Yeah. And I need to tell somebody this right here. Don't you despise small beginnings. Because when God starts increasing, you'll start, you'll celebrate. If you can celebrate in the small things, then when God brings you the bigger things, you can celebrate even the more. You won't forget, you won't get big headed, you won't get beside yourself and start walking around, taking your shirt up and taking the human head. But you ought to understand that God is the one, and He's the source of every good and perfect gift. But the Bible said that the one that had five took the five yes. and used what he had. Right. And when he got finished, the increase was he had five and he had gained five more. Right. Can I tell somebody God gonna give you double for your trouble? Yes. For your for your faithfulness, God said I'm gonna double it up on you. I'm gonna give you grace and more grace. Yes. Glory to God. You, you've been faithful over a few things. He said, I'll make you ruler over many things. Yeah, right. The one that had two, what number they talking about? Wow. If I had five, I'd do that too. But the Bible said he took his two. Yeah. Went out and worked his two. Yeah. He wasn't stuck the one with five. He just took the two he had. And the Bible said he doubled his. And the Bible said that the one that had one, he was looking at the one that had two and the one that had five and felt like he was slighted. Isn't it amazing how in the church we have folk that feel like they slighted because they don't have what somebody else has? But God said, I give you what I gave you and all I need you to do is use what I gave you and I'll bless you just like I bless the one with God. But this servant went and found a napkin. When I was growing up, all, all the old men would reach in their pocket. They didn't have no tissue. We didn't have Kleenex. They had, they had a handkerchief. They would pull it out and they, and they would wipe their face and whatever they had to do and put it back in their pocket. A reusable tissue. But instead, instead of this man wiping his face from work, he took the he took the napkin, put the towel in it, tied it up real cute, 
dug a hole. And we Do you not know that every Sunday the pews are full of folk who have buried their talent because, because they, they, they need somebody to beg them and do what God has given them to do? But I come to call all of the folk that, that's been sitting around on their seat and do nothing and God has given you some talent and God told me to tell you it's time to use what you got because if you don't, somebody else will. For somebody, this is your last call. Y'all ain't hearing me, but I'm telling you, and that's a fact. I didn't just say that just to be said. For some of you, it's your last call because he done told you over and over again that I gave it to you and I need you to use it because there's an accountability in this show. And the Bible said that the master came back from his journey. And when he came back from his journey, he called his servants together. And the one with five came first and said, Master, you gave me five talents. I put your five talents out there. And when they came back, they came back. No. You gave me five, but here's ten now. Right. The master said, well done. Good and faithful servant. Yeah. The one with two said, well, I, I wasn't hating on the one with five. I just took the two that I had. Yeah. I worked it. Yes. And it brought back an increase. Yeah. And the two you gave me, here's two more. So here's four. But that slowful one. That one that wasn't fit to live and wasn't ready to die. Walked in with the same napkin, same handkerchief in his head. Said, I knew you were a hard man. Read me what you did so. So instead of me being, being a, a, a faithful servant, I was safe. Can I tell somebody, today ain't the day to start been playing safe. You done played Russian roulette with your life all this time before you got saved. Now ain't the time to get to play safe because you got saved. you to be even more bolder because you got somebody to help you. Somebody to lean and depend on. You got somebody to empower you. And what God is saying is I need you. I need every one of you to use what you got. Yeah. And the master said out of your own mouth I'm going to judge you. Have you ever heard somebody, I know I'm supposed to be doing something, but I ain't, I'm scared. I, I don't know. Yeah. And out of their own mouth, they're judging themselves. Right. When they said, I know I'm supposed to be doing it, uh -huh. and not doing it, yes. they're judging themselves. Yeah. Amen. Right. He said, out of your own mouth, you said, I'm a hard man. I reap what I don't sow. And if you knew that, you should at least put it in the bank and got some interest off of it. And look at what the judgment happened. He said, now take the one that he got. Give it to the one that had 10. And take him out of here and cast him into outer darkness. Where there be weeping and national teeth. Yeah. You ought to feel it's an honor that the Lord chose you. Yeah. That he has gifted you like he's gifted you. Yeah. And your pastor ought not to have to beg you to work and do what God called you to do. 
Nobody ought to have to ask you. It ought to be a part of you because there was no instruction. All he went to start doing yeah. what they knew to do. Yeah. As I close my message, I just need to tell you a story and I'm going to be finished. Man had a glass of milk sitting on his table. And in the country, you know that before you had the screen door, the flies would get in. And the flies were flying around the jar at the table. And they both fell in. The milk. They both were struggling to try not to drown in the milk. One of the flies tried for a little while and just gave up and sank to the bottom of the cup and drowned in the milk. But the other fly said, no, I ain't going out like that. So he started flapping his little fly wings. And you know that when you churn milk long enough, yes. it gets hot. Yeah. And it turns into butter. This little fly was determined that he was going to leave. He wasn't going to drown in what his friend drowned in. So he started using his little wings. And he would flap them, and he would flap them, and he would flap them. And all of a sudden, it started, the milk started churning, it started turning. And after a while, he, would, he, he got a little clump he could stand on. And so he kept flapping some more until it kept building up. And after a while, this same little fly that, that thought he was going to die kept on flapping because he was using what he had. And after a while, the milk had turned into butter, and so he was standing on a solid foundation. Yeah. And I stopped by to tell somebody, I don't know what the glory is that, but if you keep on using what God gave you, yeah. you'll be standing on some solid ground. Yeah. On Christ the sun rock that stand. Yeah. All of the ground are sinking sand. Yeah. Somebody needs to shout glory in this house. And you will God gave you.
Or you may want to stay in the gap or something with Amen. Oh, this is the time to call. Amen. Quiet, let's have a little song. Amen. Amen. There we want. Amen. Like it's right, 
But it ain't. Yeah, all right. Yeah. And like Eve, pick Eve, amen. So, so we have to be watchful, amen, as well as prayerful, amen. Yeah, and, uh, so let's uh, stand for God. Yeah. And ask God to lead and God to direct us. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Put the right leaders in there for us. And as we go and cast our votes for today, amen, we got to use what we got. And yes. I thank you, brother, yes. for that. Yes. And Father, if yes. I yes. pull back in what he pulled out of this afternoon, we ask you in the name of Jesus. You know it, God. Yes. Uh, at this time, there's been a remark or anything at this time. Feel free to do so, you know. And uh, uh, as we, before we add the pros and everything, we do have a little something back in the back there. So, uh, cold sodas and a bag, amen, that you can take with you, amen. Uh, it may not put you out, but it, it help you. All right. Amen. 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 So, we truly thank God for you once again. And anytime you need us, amen, uh, we'd be more than happy to come and do what does say the Lord. If you remember, but be big in heart. Amen. 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 You know, I love about God. He said, when they took you together in my name. That's what he said. He said, my name. Yeah. He didn't say the other name. He said, in my name. Yeah. There I am in mean, the midst. Yeah. So if you got God in the midst, you ain't got to worry about the picking yeah. and the pointing. Amen. Amen. He's got yeah. two or three. And he's right there. He, he's all. He's everything. He's yeah. everything. Yeah. He said, so he's by everything. Yeah. He's, uh, he's everything. Yeah. He's got the house full with the angels and everything. Praise God. So yes. one thing about God said, you don't praise me. Mm. Lots of cries. Yes. You know, yes. you know, so we got to use what we got. Praise him while we still got a chance. You know? yeah. and I, I, I really thank you, Reverend, for that word because you be faithful with just a few things. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about the 40, 50, 100, the 20. He will. Amen. Amen. The two is becoming Amen. one just come. Amen. You know, uh, I'm, I'm happy. Amen. Amen. God use me just to break the word to the word. Yes. 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 One can say the angels have a rejoice. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. God going to give you what you need yes. Yes. at that yes. point in time yes. that you need for his glory. Yes. 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 So I truly thank God for that word. That word is for me. Amen. 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 So any remarks at this time, Mr. Brown, anyone? Uh, yes. I just try to pray for you. So I won't leave nobody out. I said, the pastor didn't let me say what I want to say. So you got to judge you what you got there in your mouth. You got Amen. It. Amen. 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 I'm going to use what I got, Pastor. <laughs> Jed Rice and uh, uh, Brother Abe Wilson and company, amen. And, 
and some others will be here in that for a musical program. So y'all continue to keep us in prayer. Amen. Amen. We do what does save the Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus. And uh and uh keep well, that, that that's on the third Sunday too, right? Third Sunday, yes, sir. Amen. Okay. Amen. All right, okay. Because we don't even have church on the third Sunday okay. anyway. At three o'clock. Well, well, thank God that we can utilize it. They may use what we got when we need to do that. Amen. Mm-hmm. So thank God for that. Thank God for that word. Amen. So we have to learn, uh, not just in, in our church, uh, just with our talents in the church and other church, around our home. Yes. Mm-hmm. And in our home. Yes. Yeah. We got to let use what we got. Mm-hmm. You know, it reminded me of my mother that then she would take a little nothing. She had, she had ten children, oh, nine boys and one girl, oh, and she would make a meal, oh, yes. and we weren't hungry. Oh, no. We didn't want for nothing. Oh, yes. didn't, you didn't see nothing maybe in the candy or nothing like that right there? Mm-hmm. But when it came time to eat, we had a full course yes. meal. Yeah. So we got to lots of use what we got. Yes. Those, 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 those folks back there know what to do. Yes. Know yes. what to trust. Amen. Amen. Use what you got. Amen. And love covers all of that. Amen. 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 So don't want to leave nobody else out. Anybody else got anything got to like say Brother Child, Brother Blasi, uh, Brother Deacon, uh, uh, Bucket, my main man. <laughs> yeah, always such a pleasure to have y'all here. Amen. And just thank this great choir. And uh, and all the ministers, amen. Amen. So 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 so, so if I may, I'm actually this, this great choir. If they will come back and join the Jim Ranch with us on the third on the first Sunday. <laughs> amen. I, I, when I got to get permission from y'all, Pastor first, man. I want to go to the pastor. So 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 y'all might say yeah. He missing me. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I thought I'd put that out there. Amen. 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 So at this time, Amen. Just the word in here. Okay. We want to thank yeah. Jim Pittman and his wife mm-hmm. and the congregation mm-hmm. for taking the time out to come up and be with us this afternoon. Mm-hmm. We want to thank them again and they're very welcome to come anytime. All right. <laughs>
And I can contest to that that he can play. Oh yes. If he would just use what God gave him. Yes. All right. All right. take his time in this car. Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. And don't be shy. Don't That's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. And he is doing what I would say most of us did. You'll be guilty that charge. Yeah, we give that child my class. Okay, he's coming back. He's All coming right. back. Right. 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 testify in, on this line and to these people that God did it again. Amen. 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 And then I want, I, want, I want to share with this young man that, that I know I know he, that, that, that he's just coming back in but watch God elevate that gift if he would just, if he would just surrender it to God. Yes. yes. Don't, don't worry so about who's looking and what they're saying. So Just yeah. keep doing it and watch God yeah. take those yeah. fingers yeah. and start playing keys and doing things that he didn't even know where it was coming from. Amen. Amen. Because God God is God is a, a faithful God. And when you pray and you ask God, he will do just what he says. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. And I need to declare to Mount Hebron and to Shiloh, your eyes have not seen your ear haven't heard it, neither has it entered into the heart of man. Only thing he's asking us to do is take the gift that he's given us and quit worrying about what somebody else is going to say about it and do what God tells you to do and watch God change things. If we would stand to our feet, we're going to be ready to go in the name of Jesus. But, but Sister Brown, go ahead and we're going to praise with you because it is already done. God has already set in motion. Amen. And I just thank God uh, for, for your faithfulness. 
even to do what you do on a Sunday afternoon because you could be somewhere at the park right now. Yeah. But thank be unto God that you're in the service of the Lord. Yeah. Father, we love you. We thank you. We give you glory and honor and praise. We thank you for the Mount Hebron Church family, the leadership of this great house, God. We pray now in the name of Jesus that, Lord, you will send everything that they need. Yes. That, Lord God, that they won't lack any good thing. Yes, because they're walking up right before you. Yes. Father, I pray that in the name of Jesus, everybody that have a hand in this service, yes. from the from the preparing of the snacks, to the singing, to the ushering, to everything that was done, even to Mother welcome us into this yes. house, yes. Yes. being the greeter that she is, God, I pray now that you would bless every person that's under the sound of my voice, that as we travel back down the highway, God, you give us traveling grace, and that, Lord, when we lay down tonight, God, your, your spirit will control and take over, God, and our rest will be peaceful, and when we get up in the morning, God, we will see new mercy because you've given it to us. Now, may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forever, and all of God's people say, amen. amen. God bless you. Love you. Amen.